I'm Emily Klapkowski, the owner of Unique Designs. Unique Designs is a full service renovation design studio. So whether it's something inside your house or outside, a full addition, uh, we, we handle soup to nuts the whole process from scope definition and space planning all the way through design, 3D renderings. We pull in the contractors and we help manage the design implementation. So we're really full service and take you from start to finish. This outdoor kitchen started as a blank canvas with a patio, uh, had an existing pool and he's a big entertainer. So the homeowner really wanted a covered space, somewhere that he could entertain, lots of seats, and the, the outdoor kitchen really became the centerpiece of the whole design. Wow, this is like the entertainer's dream. Tell us a little bit about the space prior to it becoming all of this. We really had a blank slate. It was just a concrete patio. It had a lower area where there was a hot tub, but with his upper patio with the pool, he didn't really use a lot of that, so that got nixed from the scope on this project. And that it became all of this. I think one of the things that really caught my eye, besides, I mean, the overall beautiful space as is, was the heater. So it looks like you can use this pretty much almost all year, right? He definitely, he uses this all the way into December. So he's out here year round, um, added the retractable screens on the outside. So once he's got the infrared heaters, which is heating you know, the objects over the air, it really becomes an outdoor living space three quarters of the year instead of just three months. And I think I, you know, I saw a lot of the different lighting and everything too. Tell us a little bit about all the different lighting that they have to offer through here. We really like to layer the lighting and not just have one choice, de depending on the type of day, the ambiance you're going for. So we've got overhead wafer lights, we've got fan lights, uh, we've got pendant lighting on the side so that we could have the retractable screens. And then we also have the, the outdoor lighting of the post lights as well as the sconces on the house. So these are all switched separately, they're all dimmable. So there's a lot of ways he can set the mood and different lighting for different you know Super Bowl games and these sorts of things <laughs> wonderful so yeah I mean I even noticed three through here you know this you told me earlier that this is a complete custom piece for stadium you know. we call them stadium seating Perfect. yeah we do it inside we do it outside try to create a table that's up behind the sofa just so that you can see the whole game and not missing any of the action. Exactly. <laughs> and then I love over here, you know, that bar space too. I mean, having the bar over here, walking into this covered area, was there always an idea to have both kind of areas going into one another? Was there ever a talk about flip-flopping the space? Kind of what was the idea behind all this? Well, we. We wanted to understand, you know, what do you really want to be covered full time? And it was the sofa area. Nobody wants to be pulling cushions off all of the time. Me um, <laughs> but he really, he wanted the outdoor eating, the outdoor bar, and have the cooking space as well. Um, so that's where the louvered pergola comes into play. So it can be open, allow the sunshine in, but if it starts raining, we can close it. And this can be a dry space as well. So it kind of gives the flexibility of both. So rain or shine, it doesn't matter. You're watching the game outside. Exactly. We got TVs <laughs> on both sides of the wall. TVs were very important in this design. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the cooking space because as I see here, this is not a traditional grill. This is not. This is a, a coyote pellet smoker and it also can function as a grill. It's got rotisseries on it. So um, he has a much larger grill freestanding that he had. So his, his goal here was really all about smoker and then to have the griddle next to it um, gives him a lot of flexibility. You can see it's a big space. He has big parties, lots of people. Lots so this of, is perfect lots of for food. that. <laughs> this is perfect for that. And then as we kind of kind of go over this way too, I mean, it's a large bar area, which I love because there's enough room for all of those people that are right. coming over for the get-togethers. I see you have the built-in outdoor ice maker and then the two refrigeration units here. I think something that, you know, at least I've come to find is people kind of forget that you can put some of these units outside, especially the ice maker. Right. These are all outdoor appliances and this is uh, weatherproof cabinetry that's made out of composite. It gives us a lot more storage capability than if we were to do a stoned outdoor kitchen, which seems to be a little more common. Um, so we've become a dealer for this product and we really like incorporating it because it gets you that indoor kitchen storage um, out here because all of these pieces have a lot of accessories to go along with oh, them. Yeah. So we need places to put them off. And I think what I like so much about this space here and like creating design behind this is, you know, Pittsburgh people think you can only really be outside in one season. Right. But this is giving you the opportunity to truly embrace all year round the outdoor living area. Of course, exactly. And like he said, he's here, you know, New Year's Eve sitting outside. You know, we get these 60, 70 degree days in winter and he's out here. <laughs> I love it. I mean, everything is so beautiful. I mean, truly, this is a work of art. I love thank everything, you. how everything's tied together, the colors, the appliances, everything. So thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing more projects from you. Uh, thank you.